This piece of transfer ironstone was made by Enoch Wedgwood. The pattern is one called Cottage Rose. It's based on quite a few amalgamated designs, including elements of Asiatic pheasant, Chinese rose, and a few others. But it's a lovely design overall with nice panel work on it. Central bit, which is particularly crisp, is this lovely bird and flower central panel. These were made during the 1950s and 1960s, this particular one, as you can see by the uh, the decorated under glaze marks. Enoch Wedgwood, Tunstall, made for Rington's. Now, Rington's is a very interesting English old company that does door-to-door -door deliveries, tea merchants principally, but they do coffee and all sorts of other things. And they, at periods of time, have had China pieces produced for them by a variety of different manufacturers, Enoch Wedgwood being one of them. It was usually more along the sort of uh, tea caddy route that they used for promotion, so dinner plates a little unusual for them to have commissioned, but nonetheless this is a charming bluey green. Difficult one to describe this pattern. It's not blue and white, it's not green and white, it is a sort of blue-green, turquoisey, tinty, grey-green sort of pattern design. There are some linear glaze cracking on the front of this plate that should be drawn to buyer's attention. I don't know whether the camera, there you are, picking it up nicely just to the side of this bird's wing. You can see those little tiny cracks in the glaze. Period cracking that's occurred since firing. Um, not stained, still displays beautifully and they're only noticeable when you really get close up to it. And actually the glaze on the rear is in better condition if anything. The other slight issue with this plate this isn't a crack that's occurred or a chip after firing. This is a production issue because the glaze goes right over it. So that is when the plate's been moulded up that it's gone through quality control and not been spotted. So a little palpable um, defect in the underside of this plate. But nonetheless, quite a rare piece of ironstone china. So still worth listing. And a beautiful thing as well for display. Anybody looking for a little bit of unusual greeny blue or on this palette theme in your collection of ironstone china, then a rare piece to have. Thanks for watching.